In this video, we will continue with combining functions. You will find this on page 105 in the Namibia AS level mathematics textbook y equals mx plus c to success. Composite functions or function composition. The term composition of functions or composite functions refers to the combination of two or more functions in a manner where the outcome output from one function becomes the input for the next. So one function is followed by another function and the resulting function is called a composite function. Composite function. So basically I take one function and that result that I throw it into the other function and then I get the combination. So let's this is f of x, g of x so say for example I put 4 and then that result I put into um, G. So it's always, just remember this, that you work from the back. So you will first do F4 and that answer you will then throw into D. Okay, note G means first you will do the F, then you will do the result of that G9. Okay, let's look at the example or two. It's going to make it bigger. Let f of x, x squared, and g of x, x this. Find f, g. Now remember, as I said, you work from the back. So remember, always start from the right side, the bracket part, and work towards the left side. Note an x value is given. Okay. Now, basically, they're going to substitute 3, and then that answer. Okay? But usually we write it in like this, like the question. We substitute in g. And then I get this answer. Okay. Number give a value as the answer. So if, if they give you a number, you will get a simple number again as the answer. If they give you a variable, you will get, give, get something in terms of x. Uh, okay. This was a. Let me just see. Fg3. And then uh, gf3. I just want to see quickly. Oh, yes, I just put it, um, I was just putting it in one step. So it's G3, that was G3, so it's 9 minus 2, 7, and that answer I square. Okay, and then, sorry, and then I was doing this one, I, I showed it in one. Okay, but then it's F3, so I first go to F, so it's 3 times 3, so it's 9, and then I put it in G, and then it's um, basically... 9 minus 2, 3 times 9 minus 2, and the answer is 25. Let's just read what they say here. The order of composite functions. The order in which two functions are listed is very important since more often than not we get different answers depending on the order we have listed them. So it's not to say, and if you can go back to the previous, you will see, this answer was 49 and this answer was 25, but both used 3, but the order was just different. Okay, I want you to stop the video, and I want you to do, and I'm, I don't want to, too many, because we did it also in ordinary level. You can do number 1A, it's a good start, and then B. Uh, and I think uh, because this was a negative, but this is also a negative, and this is the same. I think that is enough. Um, just is there a H? Okay. I think we can do that free. Again, stop the video, and as soon as you are finished, you can continue the video. Okay, let's start. Gx. And Hx. Okay, so let's start with number A. So basically... 
and number A is just saying G H two. Now I prefer to do it just like this. So I say H two and I substitute in H. And that is going to give me an answer of this is um, three times six plus two, and that's going to give me eight. And then usually I just go G H two. But remember H two is eight. So actually it's G eight. But that will then give me then four. Eight squared minus one. And if I'm going to work out that, I will get two. Five, five. That's my final answer. Let's look at number B. H G negative three. So start G negative three. So start with G, and that's four, and it's negative three squared minus one. So that's 9 times 4, 36, minus 1, that's 35. And then H, G, negative 3. And now I'm going to put it in H, so it's 3 times 35 plus 2. And that's going to give me 107. Okay. And then the final one, number C. That's going to be G H negative three. So it's very easy. Just go first there. So H negative three. So it's three negative three plus two. So three times three is um, no, negative three is negative nine plus two. So that will be negative seven. And then G H negative three. So in so I put four. Negative 7 oh, squared minus 1. And if I simplify that, I will get 195. And that will be my final answer.